David John Gilmore is an English musician who was a member of rock band Pink Floyd. He joined as guitarist and co-lead vocalist in 1968 shortly before the departure of founder member Sid Barrett. Pink Floyd achieved international success with the concept albums The Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here, Animals, and The Wall. By the early 1980s, they had become one of the highest selling and most acclaimed acts in music history. By 2012, they had sold more than 250 million records worldwide, including 75 million in the United States. Following the departure of Roger Waters in 1985, Pink Floyd continued under Gilmore's leadership and released three more studio albums. Gilmore has produced a variety of artists, such as The Dream Academy, and has released four solo studio albums, David Gilmore, About Face, On an Island, and Rattle That Lock. He is also credited for bringing singer-songwriter Kate Bush to public attention. As a member of Pink Floyd, he was inducted into the US Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1996, and the UK Music Hall of Fame in 2005. In 2003, Gilmore was made a commander of the Order of the British Empire. He was awarded with the Outstanding Contribution title at the 2008 Q Awards. In 2011, Rolling Stone magazine ranked him number 14 in their list of the greatest guitarists of all time. He was also voted number 36 in the Greatest Voices in Rock by Planet Rock listeners in 2009. Gilmore has taken part in projects related to issues including animal rights, environmentalism, homelessness, poverty, and human rights. He has married twice and is the father of eight children. Early Life and Education David John Gilmore was born on March 6, 1946 in Cambridge, England. His father, Douglas Gilmore, eventually became a senior lecturer in zoology at the University of Cambridge, and his mother, Sylvia, trained as a teacher and later worked as a film editor for the BBC. At the time of Gilmore's birth they lived in Trumpington, Cambridgeshire, but in 1956, after several relocations, the family moved to nearby Grantchester. Gilmore's parents encouraged him to pursue his interest in music, and in 1954 he bought his first single, Bill Haley's Rock Around the Clock. His enthusiasm was stirred the following year by Elvis Presley's Heartbreak Hotel, and later Bye Bye Love by the Everly Brothers piqued his interest in the guitar. He borrowed a guitar from a neighbor, but never gave it back. Soon afterward, Gilmore started teaching himself to play using a book and record set by Pete Seeger. At age 11, Gilmore began attending Perth School on Hills Road, Cambridge, which he did not enjoy. There he met future Pink Floyd guitarist Sid Barrett and bassist Roger Waters, who attended Cambridgeshire High School for Boys, also situated on Hills Road. In 1962, Gilmore began studying A-level modern languages at the Cambridgeshire College of Arts and Technology. Despite not finishing the course, he eventually learnt to speak fluent French. Barrett was also a student at the college, and he spent his lunchtimes practicing guitar with Gilmore. In late 1962, Gilmore joined the blues rock band Joker's Wild. They recorded a one-sided album and a single at Regent Sound Studio, in West London, but only 50 copies of each were made. In August 1965, Gilmore bussed around Spain and France with Barrett and some other friends, performing songs by the Beatles. They were arrested on one occasion and destitute, which resulted in Gilmore requiring treatment in a hospital for malnutrition. He and Barrett later trekked to Paris, where they camped outside the city for a week and visited the Louvre. During that time Gilmore worked in various places, most notably as the driver and assistant for fashion designer Ossie Clark. Gilmore traveled to France in mid-1967 with Rick Wills and Willie Wilson, formerly of Joker's Wild. The trio performed under the name Flowers, then Bullet, but were not commercially successful. After hearing their covers of chart hits, club owners were reluctant to pay them, and soon after their arrival in Paris, thieves stole their equipment. While in France, Gilmore contributed lead vocals to two songs on the soundtrack of the film Two Weeks in September, starring Brigitte Bardot. In May, Gilmore briefly returned to London in search of new equipment. During his stay, he watched Pink Floyd record see Emily play and was shocked to find that Barrett, who was beginning to suffer mental health problems, did not seem to recognize him. When Bullet returned to England later that year, they were so impoverished that their tour bus was completely empty of petrol and they had to push it off the ferry onto the landing. Influence According to Music Radar, Gilmore is a household name among the classic rock crowd, and for a lot of younger guitar fans he's the only 1970s guitarist that matters. For many he's the missing link between Jimi Hendrix and Eddie Van Halen. Writing for the website, Billy Saifong stated Gilmore isn't as flashy as Jimi Hendrix or Jimmy Page on the stage, but his guitar work outshines most for emotion. In 1996, 
Gilmore was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Pink Floyd. He has been ranked one of the greatest guitarists of all time by publications including Rolling Stone and the Daily Telegraph. In January 2007, Guitar World readers voted Gilmore's solos for Comfortably Numb, Time and Money among the top 100 greatest guitar solos. Gilmore is cited by Marillion guitarist Steve Rothery as one of his three main influences. John Mitchell, the guitarist of bands including It Bites and Arena, also cites Gilmore as an influence. In 2013, Gary Kemp, the guitarist and songwriter of Spandau Ballet argued that Gilmore's work on the dark side of the moon must make him the best guitar player in recent history. Charity Work Gilmore has supported charities including Oxfam, the European Union Mental Health and Illness Association, Greenpeace, Amnesty International, the Lung Foundation, Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy, Teenage Cancer Trust, and People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. In May 2003, Gilmore sold his house in Little Venice to the 9th Earl Spencer and donated the proceeds worth £3.6 million to Crisis to help fund a housing project for the homeless. He has been named a vice president of the organization. He donated £25,000 to the Save the Rhino Foundation in exchange for Douglas Adams's name suggestion for the album that became The Division Bell. On June 20, 2019, Gilmore auctioned 120 of his guitars for charity, at Christie's in New York, including his Black Street, and early 1954 Stratocasters, and his 1955 Les Paul. The Black Street sold for $3,975,000, making it the most expensive guitar ever sold at auction. The auction raised $21,490,750, with the proceeds going to the environmentalist charity client, Earth. Personal Life Gilmore's first marriage was to American-born model and artist Virginia Ginger Hassan Bine, on July 7, 1975. The couple had four children, Alice, Claire, Sarah and Matthew. They originally attended a Waldorf school, but Gilmore called their education their horrific. In 1994, he married writer Polly Sampson. His best man was his teenage friend and Pink Floyd album artwork designer Storm Thorgerson. Gilmore and Sampson have four children, Gilmore's adopted son Charlie, Joe, Gabriel and Romney. Charlie's voice can be heard on the telephone to Steve O'Rourke at the end of High Hopes from the Division Bell. Gabriel performed piano on the song In Any Tongue on the 2015 album Rattle That Lock, making his recording debut. In 2011, Charlie was jailed for 16 months for violent disorder during a London protest against tuition fees. Gilmore lives with his family on a farm near Wisborough Green, Sussex, and also has a home at Hove. He also spends time at his recording studio houseboat Astoria near Hampton Court. Gilmore is an experienced pilot and aviation enthusiast. Under the aegis of his company, Intrepid Aviation, he amassed a collection of historical aircraft. He later decided to sell the company, which he had started as a hobby, feeling that it was becoming too commercial for him to handle. In a BBC interview, he stated, Intrepid Aviation was a way for me to make my hobby pay for itself a little bit, but gradually over a few years Intrepid Aviation became a business because you have to be businesslike about it. Suddenly I found instead of it being a hobby and me enjoying myself, it was a business and so I sold it. I don't have intrepid aviation anymore. I just have a nice old biplane that I pop up, wander around the skies and sometimes. Gilmore does not believe in an afterlife and is an atheist. He has stated that he is left-wing. He said that his parents were proper Manchester Guardian readers, some of their friends went on the Aldermaston marches. Mine never did to my knowledge, but they were both committed to voting for the Labour Party. He described himself as a socialist, even if I can't quite stick with party politics. In August 2014, Gilmore was one of 200 public figures who were signatories to a letter to The Guardian expressing their hope that Scotland would vote to remain part of the United Kingdom in the Scottish independence referendum. In May 2017, Gilmore endorsed Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn in the 2017 UK general election. He tweeted, I'm voting Labour because I believe in social equality. Gilmore's net worth is £115 million, according to the Sunday Times Rich List 2018. Dear viewers, do not forget to subscribe, like and comment for the development of our channel. Stay with love.